torture. Babysitting is not torture. It's so. See, Lillian's a big baby, and I'm all of fourteen. A so totally mature fourteen. Total maturity. That's why you're the one babysitting. Now we won't be late. Make sure your sister's in bed by nine, and try to get along. Or next time, Lillian babysits you. Ciao. So now what do we do? I study the winter fashions. You keep quiet. I wish you could speak Napoleon. At least then I'd have someone to talk to. Okay, that's it. Bedtime. It's only eight o'clock. I'm in charge, and I say it's nine. Now brush your teeth and pajamify now. Ugh, I hate you. Then my work here is done. <sighs> Lose the magazine, doll. We gotta talk. <laughs> The cat talks? No. <gasps> Ricky Rodent over there is a ventriloquist. Um, no offense, but this just ain't normal. Yeah, Mr. Huggles doesn't like it either. Well, your rat can just get over it. He's not a rat, he's a dormouse, and I, I'm arguing with a house pet. Not just a house pet, Mac. I'm a familiar. Lillian's familiar. Familiar? Oh, 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 a familiar's a magical animal spirit that attends and protects a witch. My sister may be a brat, but she's no witch. Not a real one, anyway. Well, she's something. Gave me the power of speech just by wishing. Kid was marked for greatness. Otherwise, she wouldn't have wound up with me. But I'm thinking her power surfaced ahead of schedule. Extreme mystic might in the paws of an eight-year-old. Bad medicine. My two cents, keep her in the dark till she's older and can handle it. In the dark about what, exactly? So far, all we have are questions. Then let's go find some answers. I can't leave Lillian alone, especially not now. I'll cover for you. Go. Thanks, Matt. Uh, meow? I heard voices, and... Where's, where's Cornelia? Uh, she'll be back soon. She just stepped out to, uh... Ditch me for her friends. Big surprise. Hey, you still got me. And Mr. Huggles. Duh, and you're familiar. Um, that is, you're familiar with Napoleon, of course. From all you've told me, Cornelia's sister may well be a vast font of magical energy. Perhaps the heart of Earth itself. No way! It would explain why the Oracle chose one such as you to be a guardian. Okay, wait, wait, wait. The Oracle chose us? I thought Yan Lin picked us. She was an ex-guardian, and we were her granddaughter's best friends. But that, that makes no sense. I had just come to town. I barely knew Hey Lin. Hey Lin was indeed chosen to provide a continuity of spirit. But Cornelia's selection as guardian of Earth may have been to ensure she'd have the power and wisdom to guide and protect her sister, the heart of Earth. <laughs> I do not have the wisdom to guide any. Okay, curiosity officially peaked. Why were we chosen? Yeah, spill. Such truths only emerge with the fullness of time. 
For now, you must focus on the child. Should Narissa learn of this young girl and her untapped potential... Uh, she'll try to add Lillian's power to her own magic seal. But a heart can't be taken by force. It has to be given up willingly. Do not underestimate Narissa. Or forget that she tricked Elyon and Kadma into surrendering their power. Oh no, nobody messes with my sister but me. Will, send me home, now! Okay, there. So, once upon a time in a beautiful castle, there lived a magical princess whose name just happened to be... Lillian! <laughs> How'd you know? I hate to interrupt, but I have news for Matt. We're on an Arissa alert. The others are at the Dragon working on strategy. I'll take over here. Right. Take care, Lil. You're going? But you just started the story. Cornelia, you ruin everything. Hey, it's okay. You and I can make nice. You're never nice. Not to me. Is that really how you feel? Listen, I'm gonna be a better big sister. Starting right now. I just want us to be closer. I hate this distance between us. We'd both be so much better off undivided. If you'd agree, we could share everything. Uh, my bad, Cornelia. Huggles got away from me. Ah! Come here, you... <gasps> oh, great, now the whole menagerie's gone berserk. Help me out, see? <sighs> What are you doing? We can't leave Lillian alone. Not now. About time. I didn't know how much longer I could stall. Is that? Yeah. Huggles tipped me off. I didn't have the power to risk a fight, so I had to riff. Nice try, Narissa. But even a mouse can see I'm better looking than that. Then perhaps I'd better... Wow, I'm still better looking. The Guardian makeover, just not working. The dried prune look was so much more you. Petty insults will hardly protect your sister. I will be back. She won't give up, will she? Give up on what? None of your business. What are you doing up anyway? Get back in bed. It was all a trick. I knew it. I knew she didn't mean that stuff about being a better sister. Aw, oh, come on, princess. We still have a bedtime story to wrap up. Smooth, doll. Real smooth. One big sister to another, you need to win back her trust. Now that she's in Narissa's sights, her life could depend on it. Matt, can I have more story, please? Actually, why don't we let your sister spin it? <laughs> That's okay, I missed chapter one. Hey, we barely got past Once Upon a Time. There was a princess named Lillian before a certain Cornelia Hale interrupted. She won't do it. Don't tell me what I won't do. If I want to tell you a story, I'll tell you a story. It's, um, it's... About an evil sorceress named Nerissa, who wants to drain Princess Lillian of all her magical power. But lucky for the princess, she has five fairy protectors. Will, Irma, Tarani, Cornelia, and Halen. No way you'd protect me. Oh, fine. Four protectors. That's better. <sighs> I might like this story. I just wish it were true. Uh, Will, did you say guardians unite while I wasn't listening? Do not look at me. I so didn't do any of this. By this, do you mean a spontaneously going guardian? Or the Hales apartment spontaneously going medieval? Or say the world spontaneously going king size? Uh, D. All of the above?
Nerissa could change her shape and pose as anyone. Matt! <gasps> Shh! Whoa. Can't let Lillian see me. Grab Napoleon. But Princess Lillian's friend, Mr. Huggles, could always tell when it was Nerissa. Um, yeah, that's right. The good news, Nerissa didn't do any of this. The bad news, Lillian did. The castle, the fairy protectors, Cornelia's bedtime story got the kid wishing again. And she turned you little dolls into littler dolls. But how? She's created a glamour zone around the building. From a distance, nothing looks different. So, Brenda, you haven't said a word since the movie. Frankly, Marco, I'm stunned you'd take me to such a trashy joust. Did you really think I'd enjoy all that gratuitous carnage? But soon as anyone enters the zone, they see a castle, and they won't even notice the change. But, Lady Brenda, you chose the joust. I wanted to attend the... Tell it to the hand, my lord. And the kid did it all by wishing. That's how powerful she's become. I guess Lillian really is the heart of Earth. With her fairy protector standing watch, the princess felt safe enough to sleep. Or her bedtime story was so boring it put her to sleep. Nothing's happening. I thought evil Nerissa was gonna attack. Okay, she attacks. <gasps> and she didn't come alone, for Nerissa controls four evil fairies. Together, they laid siege to the castle to steal Princess Lillian away from the four good fairies. Well, well, well. Shall I assume the child's power has gotten a smidge out of control? I'd say Cornelia's story's a smidge out of control. Matt'll fill her in. And meanwhile, let's turn this sorceress into a sorcerate. Then again, I was never all that big on fairness. Quintessence! <gasps> Could be worse. Could be a butterfly net. That would just be humiliating. Things looked desperate for the good little fairies. Nerissa and her minions were on the verge of plucking their wings. Then what happened? Nothing. Nothing else happened. You can't end the story there. Uh, how about a different story? Something a little less... Glamorous? He really doesn't get the whole bedtime story thing, does he? Oh, I get it, Princess. Stories can be very powerful. They can literally change your life. Everyone who agrees, meow three times. Meow, meow, meow. Matt, you're really not helping. Besides, it's storytelling 101. Things always look bad for the heroes early on. <laughs> and getting worse all the time. So... Uh, the good fairies figured it was time to use their secret weapon. Super growth power! B five boom bum! I think Nerissa's so gonna be bum! No, no, no! You can't just change the rules! <laughs> Think again. This isn't a comic book, it's a fairy tale. And fairy tales don't have super growth power. Excuse me? Beanstalk? Please, fairy tales have fairies, Prince Charming, oh, and dragons. Ooh, a dragon. No, please, no dragon. Yes, dragon. Ten feet tall, scaly, and scary. Twenty feet tall, with giant bat wings. Okay, but it's on our side, right? No, silly. It's Nerissa's dragon. My, my. 
And here I thought I wasn't a pet person. Oh, oh, oh and, and it breathes fire! All dragons breathe fire. What is all that unearthly commotion? Oh, a dragon attacking the castle. Well, come inside. You know how you scorch. I never get to watch my shows. What was that? Nothing, milady. What the heck's Cornelia thinking? Newsflash, Cornelia never thinks. Or maybe she doesn't know. Cornelia, listen. Oh, my gosh. What have we done? We gave Nerissa a dragon. Storytelling 101, remember? Yawn! Well, look at the time. Guess we should wrap this up now. Yes! Oh, I am just beat. But you can't end the story now. I'll have nightmares. And you having nightmares? I'm guessing would really not be good. We have to save Princess Lillian! And keep her safe. I really don't recall ever getting this much pleasure out of squashing bugs. It's not enough to beat Nerissa this once. She'll just keep coming back. Then what do we do? Princess Lillian can still save her kingdom if she'll lend her magic power to someone else. To who? You? I don't want your power, sweetie. But what about your loyal knights? I have knights? Of course. Sir Matthew, Sir Huggles, and Sir Napoleon. Princess Lillian? It would be an honor and privilege to serve you. Why not make them your regents? What's a regent? Someone who wields your power until you're old enough to use it yourself. But if I have all this power, should I really give it up? Lillian, honey, no pressure, but you kind of need to decide soon. I don't know. Cornelia, what do you think I should do? You're asking me? Really? Well then, I think it's a good idea. Where is it? Aha! Sir Matthew, Sir Huggles, Sir Napoleon, I, Princess Lillian, make you regents of my power. Regents of my kingdom! Uh, uh, what, what's, what's the name of my kingdom? Earth. Wow. Big kingdom. You are now the regents of Earth! Go, save my kingdom, save my fairies! I must serve my mistress. <laughs> I'm so torn. Should I crush you into pixie dust or just feed you to the dragon? Brenda, Brenda, I just had the weirdest dream. We were living in a castle and... Go back to sleep, Marco, or you'll be living in a motel. <sighs> Wow, I feel ten feet tall, or at least five seven. And check it out, not a dragon or parapet in sight. Fools! The heart of Earth, its power has been siphoned. And you'll never guess by whom. Shagon? Little Lil gave us her power, and look what happened. Guess old habits die hard. You said gave us her power? Myself, Huggles, and Napoleon. Did we miss much? I missed you, dear heart. What do you say we destroy the Guardians together? For old time's sake. I say. <gasps> Sorry, Nerissa. Under new management. No! <laughs> We're the regents of Earth, and you're trespassing on our mistress's turf. You so freaked me out with that old habits thing. Old habits? New tricks? Guess I'm hardwired for the Shagon morph, but now I control the on-off switch. I'm still mad inside, and I don't feed on hate, just Lillian power. 
You're like a guardian. I know. Are we like perfect for each other or what? These fires will never contain us. My seal holds the power of two hearts. Wake up, Carl Nerissa. We've got two hearts now, too. But there are other worlds and other hearts. You cannot save them all. And soon, you won't even be able to save yourselves. Now Nerissa can never steal the princess's power because the wise young girl willingly gave it to her Regents Three, who will serve as protectors of the Kingdom of Earth until the princess is ready for that responsibility herself. Plus, P.S., the princess's big sister promises to always be there for her. To make sure nothing ever divides them again. And they all lived happily ever after. So, any tuna in the house? Hi, honey. Anything exciting happen? Nah, just the usual. Purr, 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 purr.